Welcome to the Auto Body Source Podcast, your direct link to products, skills, and training for a rewarding career in automotive collision repair. Most persons would chalk up 2020 as the year we all could have skipped. But in October of that year, during the pandemic lockdown, we connected on Instagram with an Alberta, Canada automotive refinisher named Sheep Adam Saib, who gained our admiration and friendship for his supportive optimism that shines both inside and outside the paint booth. We reconnected with Sheik three years later. Today's episode is an excerpt of an Auto Body Source live stream hosted on November 10th, 2023. We had published an, an article on the chat that we had with Sheik back in October 2020 and our January 2021 issue of the Auto Body Source. And at that time, um, it was, I, I had to share in that article how inspired I was by, by, by your personality and just really your approach and perspective in the industry. And I wanted to talk with you a little bit about that. Um, you have been such a big advocate and proponent of encouraging newcomers into the trade. What, what, um, where does that passion and that motivation come from for you? Well, to be honest, like, uh, it's more like you try to give what you've never got. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I said before, like 20, 30 years ago, we never had no such thing as mentors. Basically, you know, you want to join a trade, you get into it, and uh, you learn as you go, right? But uh, right now, everything is so much easier. Uh, you can connect and reach out to, to anyone and, uh, you know, ask for help. And we are always there to, to, to share our experience and knowledge. And uh, I think it's it's I, I think it's not just me, but everybody here knows how important it is to uh, welcome, support, and encourage the newcomers uh, in the industry. So we do our best, and you know, try to show that we're always there. You can always reach out anytime. You know, like I said, we never had this before. Now you can connect and reach out to anyone anytime, right? And I believe. Wisdom and knowledge is given by God, and it's our responsibility to share it. Yeah, yeah, def I definitely. I remember you saying that back when we initially chatted. Um, you've always been that optimistic. I, I, I get that impression. Um, I don't. You've always been the type of person. I've called you a cheerleader many, many times, and I, I think it's a fitting, uh, I think it's a fitting name and title. Uh, because that's really what uh, what it takes, and it seems like what's kept you going through a lot of ups and downs. Um, I know you were, you had mentioned uh, when I when we previously chatted that you're you know you you started your career back on a, a little tropical island you know in East yeah. Africa, and you overcame a lot of challenges, um, but you've 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 persevered, and you you seem to you seem to have a really good grasp of what it takes to to stay motivated what is you, what you have to you have to right because I, I believe positivity is key in your mindset and i do have that kind of mindset like uh i don't stop to nothing i'm not saying that i can do everything but at least i'll try and uh you have to be positive whether it's at, at home at work wherever you are right you have to spread positivity around you uh, that is the only way it's going to come back to you. You know, like your positivity at work uh, reflects not only on your on your job, on what you do, on taking pride in what you do, but also around the people you work with. Like I'm the type of person, if I'm not at work, you'll know I'm not there. Because if I am, I'll be walking around, joking a little bit with everybody, you know, make it nice to work. As uh, I've always wanted to be, and I, I think I, I mentioned that in our last interview last time, like I want to wake up and be excited to go to work. And right now I am at this point, you know, I'm, I'm loving my new job. I don't know if I've mentioned it. We just moved to uh, the city uh, and uh, I got a new job. Uh, it, it's been amazing. It's been amazing so far. And I know it's going to get even better where I am right now. 
I do have a picture that I've sent you about uh, yeah. the place that I'm working at right now. Yeah, beautiful take- place, beautiful place, beautiful people, great management, and the owner, Mr. Johnny, is is such a nice soul. You know, really nice guy. You can approach him anytime. And and he's always there to listen and you know to do whatever he can to help out, which is great because like I told you before, uh, it's very important for me uh, when I see uh, a business owner or the management showing that they care. You know. Yeah, yeah that that makes that makes sense. Have you did you move uh, locations or it's it's there in Alberta? You've been in Alberta, right? It's still there. Yes, that- we've been in Alberta for the past nine years, but we moved from a small town. It was really nice over there too. You know, we've learned a lot where we were, but then we decided to move, and uh, you know, it just life happens, and we moved to Edmonton, which is like five hours from where I was before. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice, very nice. Well, I, I know that one of the things that you love to do is to give back. And you mentioned right before we hopped on today that um, you you had the opportunity to encourage others and, and help others is in, in, in terms of getting the supplies they need um, and, and through some really generous uh, uh, donors and vendors within the industry. What can you tell us about that? I happen to to come across uh, a young lady who works as an instructor at NATE, uh, which is the University of Trade here in Alberta, right? So she teaches uh, everything related to uh, refinishing and, and bodywork. So we started talking, and then uh, she told me maybe one of those days you should come down there and have a speech with uh, the, the newcomers, which I think is a great, great idea. Because I do have a friend who is right now at Nate studying to become a prepper and all that. And I know the struggles that he faced. And I don't think it's right because uh, he wants to be in the industry. He wants to learn. He wants to spend the rest of his life here. But uh, if he's not getting the right encouragement and support, what happened is they quit before they even started. You know, Mm -hmm. what people don't understand is uh, as a newcomer, some people do join the industry, either it's for being a body man, uh, a refinisher, or a welder, because they like uh, doing it. But there's also some people who join a trade, and in the back of their mind, they are constantly asking themselves, is this where I belong, or should I try something else? So this is where we stop in, we, just, we step in you know, and encourage them, hey, you know what? All this is part of the learning process, the ups and downs, the mistakes. You know, you don't just become a technician uh, in a couple of days or so, right? So this is why I say it's very, very, very important to encourage and support the newcomers, especially if they are women. Yeah. You know? and, so what uh, was, what, and, I, and I'm showing for the, the any of the, those who are watching the stream on Facebook yes. or YouTube, the, you in this situ, in situation, you were able to help her um, yes. get a, a shipment of the big kid blocks, a blocking set. How, how did that so come this about? Is, this is Cecile, like I said, who works as an instructor at, at Nate. And okay. uh, when she mentioned to come and, and talk to the students, I thought I always try to take it to a different level. So I try, I thought, you know what, maybe I should reach out to uh, them guys and see if they could hook me up with some goodies for the students, right? So eventually I reached out to Big Kid Blocks, to uh, Kirk and Chris from Luma, um, from Tim Briggs, uh, Collision Edge, and they all sent me a bunch of stuff uh, so I could hand it to Cecile and then she could hand it out to the students. So they, Because I'm sure most of them haven't seen those, right? So not only they get to see the new tools that's out there, but they get to use it and see how big of a difference it brings uh, in the industry, right? That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. It's not. It's not a surprise that you. You know, your big heart has. Uh, has you know, has has benefited others. Um, one thing I remember about you, that from when I first met you, is that you love masking, um, probably yes. more, more than anything else. And um, I do. I do. How did you come to? How did you come to? Uh, 
develop a love of that, even though you, you're an outstanding painter. Where did, where did that start? Thank you. So uh, this is a Herafix uh, soft edge tool, which is really, really nice. And before that, I had uh, the one from Collision Edge, which is a great tool too. They all work really great, you know. Uh, I love masking more than painting only because I think when I do a good masking job, that kind of like encourage me to do an even better paint job, if that makes sense. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I yeah. take pride. I, I take really, really pride in, in, in time to mask my, my paint jobs and all that. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That is awesome. Do you do you feel that there are, in, in terms of tools, do you feel like there are certain tools that you are like are your go tos? Um, that make a, te a, a technician's life easier or, or things that you've uh, developed, the, tools that you kind of developed along the way? There, there are uh, quite a few, but uh, I have uh, the Sun Pro Light and the spray guns from Luma, from Chris and Kirk, which I think are great. I just posted a video earlier to show how big of a difference it makes uh, when you have the Sun Pro Light attached to your spray gun. And then you have, like I said, uh, the tape thing, tape caddy and all from Tim Briggs Collision Edge. You have the Herafix uh, tape tool from uh, Iron Star, and even the anti-static gun from Iron Star, which is an amazing tool. Because for us, uh, refinishers, the last thing we want to do after painting a job is to go and spend like a couple hours polishing and all that. Whereas this is where the anti-static gun comes in and, and helps a lot. Last time I did an eggshell finish on a Hyundai, and it was crucial to make sure there's no dirt nibs in it because you can't polish it. It has to stay flat. And I was so happy I had the Iron Star anti-static gun and helped me out really nice, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I, I am, I've enjoyed catching up with you. Um, I know one of the things that you've always encouraged newcomers to do is to reach out to Anytime. this community on, on social media. Yes. Uh, why, do you, why do you feel like that's important? Again, like I said, if, if we don't do that, they're going to quit before they even start because I know how it feels. We've been there. We've been there. Even though we never had any mentors, we had no choice than to keep pushing through. Right. And thank God we made it. Right. But right now, it's crazy. Everything is different. So you have to really support them and, and explain to them. Uh, like, for, for example, if, if you are to ask me about experience, how do you define experience? You might be doing something for 30, 40 years, but never had any issues. But you've always been doing, doing it right. You've never acquired any experience. You only acquire experience throughout mistakes, which you make sure you don't repeat, right? right? So this is where we have to explain to them, like, hey, you're going to make mistakes, and it's all right. Just embrace it. Just make sure you don't repeat it. Keep pushing through. We are there. And I always say to anybody who uh, comes in as a newcomer in the shop, wherever I'm working, I'm always like, you know what? I'm there anytime. I'm there, but at the same time, I'm not. I'm there for you to reach out, even if you have to ask me the same question 10 times in the same day, it's all right. But I'm not there just so you don't feel like I'm breathing down your neck all day long. Right? Yeah. So yeah. feel free to reach out anytime, you know? Yeah. And there's not just me, there's Chris Crow, there's uh, Todd from Island Custom Concept, which is always there for, for, for all of us, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Todd was actually. If he was free today, he was actually going to hop on uh, the oh, stream man. with us today. Yeah, he was gonna he was gonna, gonna pop nice. in. And, he was gonna pop in and surprise you, but uh, his, oh, schedule man. his schedule wouldn't let him. Uh, but he did say hello. And yeah. um, I, I if there was one last thing I was curious about, and it's not it's something that I don't think a lot of people, at least I hadn't thought of. And when you think collision repair, even if you're a student, uh, you are very very um, skilled at heavy equipment painting um and i'll i'll show some of the footage uh, the video that you that you uh, showed yeah that's, what, that's what, the how did you get job. how did you get started in 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 jobs that large you know it's like sorry it's like 
it's like when you say you don't know how to swim and then somebody just push you in the ocean and say, you're going to have to start diving. So this is basically what happened. So I've never done this back home, even though I was a painter certified and all for about, I don't know, 15 years before I moved here. I've never done no such thing. But then I came here. Like I said, there's no such thing like I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to back down too. I'm going to at least try it. Right. That was, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that mulcher was a big, big job. That was a big job. And I was the only painter for both the shops we had uh, in the town I was before. That's amazing. Yeah. So and, it's, you know, as you go, <laughs> I feel like that's encouraging for any, uh, you know, any newcomers who are, who want to branch out or maybe you get tired of all the buff jobs and cutting and buffing. You yeah. can you can do a lot of you can do a lot of uh hone your skills on some heavy yeah. equipment. And you know, you know what what's very important is is no matter how many years you've been doing it, how much experience you have, always keep your feet to the ground. You know, like I would go at work if there's a kid who's on school holidays and just helping out washing vehicles, I always like to approach them and you know, ask them like, Hey, how do you like it here? Do you want to try something else, like being a body man or you know, a prepper or something? And what's more important is when you talk to them, you got to talk to the kid in his own language. Don't try to pull out the, you know, all certified technician stuff on them and, you know, make them feel comfortable and, and, and talk to them, and explain to them uh, the great advantages that we have in the industry, right? Because yeah. I was talking to the HR at the shop yesterday and I said, you name a painter around the world right now, and I'm pretty sure I can reach out to them. How beautiful is that? How many people on Instagram I've never met, I've never even seen, but we are still so bonded, strongly connected, you know? And we believe that we learn from each other and we grow together. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter how long you've been doing it. That's right, man. Words to live by. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad we were able to catch up with you, Sheik. Oh, thank you, thank you, man. Thank you for having me. As it's always, always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you can you can check out all of Sheik's uh, master master refinishing. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't work. say that. I wouldn't uh, say that. You know, you learn every day. <laughs> you could, yeah. You're well on on Instagram. Your handle is guns and hoses all yes. uh, all together at. And underscores and as the last character. Yes. Yep. Yes. Guns and hoses underscore. Sheik, thank you so much, my friend. Um, oh, we thank will... you so much, Nolan. Thank you so much for having me today. Yeah, yeah. We will, we will catch up with you again soon. For sure. The Auto Body Source podcast is a production of the Auto Body Source, published by International Auto Body Marketing Group. For three decades, the Auto Body Source has connected repair solutions to collision shops across North America. In continuous publication since 1992, we differentiate ourselves with a publication that's a direct resource for auto body products and brands to the warehouse, the jobber, and body shop technicians, servicing over 17,000 jobber customers each year in the U.S. and Canada, as well as Bermuda, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Bahamas, and the Caribbean. For more information, visit www.autobodysource.com.